Okie dokie. We're finally doing a video on the trailer. Um, so we've had this trailer for a little while, since just the start of the year, and we had it on um, a couple of big trips. Uh, just getting it ready and testing it out and stuff like that. It's awesome, so I'm gonna go from like start to finish on um, on the trailer itself, and then I'll talk about what we've added. So it is a Stockman pod trailer, so it's a Stockman all-roader. And they do uh, a series of these um, uh, on their website. Um, they do an on-roader, which doesn't have the suspension um, that I'm, I'm gonna go through in a minute. Uh, and they do a off-roader, which has independent suspension um, there as well. So we've gone from the middle range, which is the all-roader, and I'll explain why we went for that one over other um, other models. Uh, it is 340 kilograms tear weight. So in terms of like like stock, buying it from the dealer and then driving away, 340 kegs. That's all you're towing without any gear in it. So like you do not even feel it on the back of the car. It's insane. Um, then what we've done is we've bought the braked version of it. So this has got electronic brakes. Um, and that takes your, so you can load these up to 650 kilograms, but then when you get the electronic brakes, you can load them up to a thousand kilograms, including your tear weight. So you've got about, you know, 650 kilograms of extra payload that you can put inside here. That's insane um, for a trailer. And I, I think it's awesome. We've had it well loaded, and again, you don't actually feel like I'm towing anything at all, so it's really, really good. Electronic brakes are an absolute must if you're gonna overload the trailer. Um, so we've had electronic brakes added as well. Um, Galvanized chassis, uh, made in Melbourne, um, I think made in Vic, and then shipped over this way. Um, so as it is, when you buy them standard, they just come with the leaf springs. They just come with uh, like aluminium loop bars on top and they do not come with a box on the front. So just bear that in mind if you're looking at something like this, they don't come with a box, they only come leaf sprung and they just come with standard loop, aluminium loops at the top. So I'll talk about some of the reasons we've changed some of the things on the outside and then I'll go to the inside. Um, Oh, by the way, they also don't come with the gas bottle holders and things like that. So we have on order at the moment um, two jerry holders for our Uluru trip. They'll go here. Um, and then we've got our gas bottle holder at the back. Anything you add to these guys, they just don't come stock. So you have to, you have to purchase it. But that's fine because all the materials are so good. We looked at another brand. I think it's called Trailmaster and we found the quality of the Trailmaster versus the quality of the Stockman, huge difference. Um, so I find the Trailmasters didn't have the quality of components that these guys do. Good trailer, really, really good. Um, okay, so we added a box. First thing we did on the front, that stores all of our camping crap. Okay, um, it's a mess in there, but whatever. Um, Great spot to store all of your sort of knick-knacky campy things like axes go in there, all of our fire stuff goes in there, spares, loads of spares are in there. Really, really good. Um, so that's what we added, the first thing we added. Um, I had the Rhino bars um, added instead of the loops. There's a reason for that is because we have uh, some wild ideas of what we're gonna do for the top of the trailer. Um, and that involves pulling my Rhino rack off the car, replacing the rack on the car with something else, and then adding the flat top Rhino onto these. That's why I got the Rhino bars, because they'll just be a really simple on and off type situation. Uh, looking forward to that, but that's probably down the track away. These are great. We've had the kayaks and the SUP board on top of that. So kayak and SUP board sit on top of this. It's awesome. And the other reason um, I got these is because once it's all strapped down, the kayak and the SUP board are on top. I can open close the lid really easy and keep them on top. So really good, takes, the, takes them from the top of the car, puts them on here, 
takes the drag off the car and it's it heats better. So yeah, really stoked with that. Um, so we added those. Um, right, suspension. The biggest reason we bought this trailer is because you could upgrade the suspension from stock. And that, you can't do that with any other trailer. I did my research. There's nothing else that we could have done. And sides from having a custom trailer built, we couldn't actually buy the trailer stock and then upgrade it. So we've upgraded the suspension. So basically if you have a look, it's probably better if you look from this way. So have a squeeze under there and you can see there's a set of Garcia shock absorbers. Um, so they are addition and they will cost you extra. However, I think it's an awesome uh, I think it's an awesome addition to the leaf spring. So you've got the leaf spring and then you've got those big Garcia shocks that are gonna take any of the big hits out. We are, we, we have, and we will be doing a ton of off-roading with this trailer. And I mean like proper full driving. So suspension was big for me. Um, and I wanted something that was gonna be able to handle it. So, you know, we've, we've taken this out to Shark Bay. Um, so right up through Francois Perron. That track out there is a shocker, um, and it, this just handled so well. Awesome. So yeah, the addition of the shocks was one of the biggest reasons we got this trailer over the other ones. You had to go, you had to go like up to fifteen thousand dollars on some of the other models that have this independent suspension. Whereas you can just add those shock absorbers either as an aftermarket or you can do it when you buy the trailer. Um, you know, that's that's an absolute win. Let's go inside. So this comes up. And then we've got this awesome sort of poly tub. Um, now I'll cover over a few things that are going on in here. So really at the moment, we've just got this set up for storage. Um, so when we do our big trips, water, uh, the swag actually goes in here, porta potty, firewood. Um, We've even had fuel in here as well, but that was a bad idea. Um, it stinks the trailer out, which is why we just bought the jerry can holders for the sides. We're not going to put fuel in here anymore. But again, more water, more food, uh, more gear and uh, more opportunities to bring like more firewood and things like that. It just takes a load off the car um, and that's, that's the biggest reason. So we can have longer trip with more stuff. Um, and not overload the car. We drove out to Wind, Wind Bandy with the car, we didn't have this, with the car loaded, we had like 120 litres of water, we had 45 kilos of firewood, we had all of our food, all of our booze, all of our gear, we had the sup board on top, the swag on top, the porta potty. Man, the car was like driving a boat. Um, so it was basically after that trip that we decided that something like this was gonna be um, was going to be for us. Uh, right, the biggest thing that we've done in here, um, I guess it's a, a pretty big deal, is we've we've added a we've added a battery box to run a fridge freezer. So this is the Thumper battery box. They're made here in Oz, um, and really it's quite simple. It is battery box with a BCDC uh, red arc charger built in. Okay, so essentially it means that when this is all plugged into either solar or the car, it's doing smart charge on the battery. Won't overload the battery. Um, it'll it'll have a. It's got an inbuilt solar regulator, so it takes solar um, from the panel. Uh, and we've just had that attached. There's a loom going through the through the chassis out to the car. Um, it's awesome. You've got all of your extra stuff in here too, so you can charge your phones. Um, you can, you know, get, you've got your angle sockets, you've got your 12 volt sockets, and you've got Anderson here for the solar. So the solar just goes, boom, straight in that, and, it, and it's running. Um, that's taking care of the Brass Monkey fridge. Um, so we've got a Brass Monkey 45 litre or 40 litre um, fridge freezer and uh, basically we just split it up so part of its freezer, part of its fridge. Uh, again, this was all about longer trips, more food, less stops, 
less need to go to towns and get extra things. We can have frozen food, we can have more drinks. It's like, it's, it's amazing. So it's definitely changed the way we can. The other thing, if you've got kids and you're trying to pack a car for camping, um, it, it's like Tetris, it takes me forever. Uh, since we bought this, I literally like get our gear, chuck it in willy nilly, shut the lid, hook it up, off we go. Brilliant. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. There's not much more we're going to do inside here either. So this is actually pretty much how it's going to be because we really want it for storage. So probably the only extra thing we're thinking about doing at the moment is I've got like an old secondhand battery in here that's just not pushing out enough anymore to, to keep the fridge and freezer going. Um, so I'm probably going to put lithium in there before we go to Uluru. So that's about it. So I'm going to put lithium in there and then that should that should run really well. I'm just using my car panel. This is just the solar panel from the car. I've just been using that to run it. Um, but again, maybe down the track, I might add like some hard panels instead of the soft blanket panel, um, just so I can shift them around the car um, as we go. But that's about it, guys. Um, these trailers are so good. And if you're not a caravan person, and you're not a camper trailer person, but you'd like to take more gear and um, expand your, your camping travels a bit more, then I think these are the best option on the market. They're much better than getting a tradie trailer. Um, and believe me now, it's much cheaper than getting a custom trailer because I looked into that. So they're very, um, very well specced. They're made, they're made for Australian conditions. So I think, um, you know, we're about to drag it over to Uluru, so I think it's really going to um, be the test for it then. So, And we'd like to thank, uh, we might as well uh, also, while we're at it, thank Daryl from uh, Camping Culture. Uh, I think they're located in Wangara. Um, so Daryl was just awesome. Uh, I got to go out, see all the trailers. He helped me make all the decisions about the trailer. Daryl even fixed the box on the front. I actually bought that box from Bunnings and he did that for me when I bought the trailer. Um, just incredible service from Daryl and like we've ordered the Jerry's. He's got them in really quick. We haven't put them on yet. Um, and he's just really looked after us. So thanks, thanks to Daryl. So if you want to go check these out, you've got to go to Camping Culture in Wangara and, um, and check them all out. But yeah, good trailer. We'll see how it stands up to the uh, Great Central Road over to Uluru. I reckon it's going to be good. So that's it. That's our trailer, guys.